This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice requested up to $2 million to spark construction of a brand new community aquatic center at the state fairgrounds in Fairley. That will include three swimming pools and many other amenities for people of all ages and abilities. Today, my recommendation is right here in this check, and that's for $2 million. And that $2 million with the $4 million you got, it puts you there. After sitting without a signature for 125 years, Governor Jim Justice signed the bill declaring Bluefield State College as an educational institution, recognizing the countless alumni who have made an impact on West Virginia. There's so much stuff that you have done to, to contribute to all of us in each and every way forever. The West Virginia Department of Arts, Culture and History held their fourth annual Arts in Our Communities Conference at the Culture Center. The Herbert Henderson Office of Minority Affairs held their annual Trailblazer Awards, honoring minorities that make a significant impact on their communities. The West Virginia Department of Education named Clayton Birch as new state superintendent, and February 21st was recognized as West Virginia State University Day. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.